sleet. I know it's horrible. That's Do what you know I know. The difference? Yeah. Because I have no idea. Helen, you're going to explain this over and over and over <laughs> and over again over the next four hours for us. Morning. Uh, Good morning, Nagar and John. Good morning. Yeah, on a serious note, I will talk about freezing rain because it's incredibly rare here in the UK. It's often found across the United States. But I mean, I remember the winter of 95, 96. I think that was the last major system when we had a lot of widespread freezing rain. And I will talk about what it is. But it seems like all our severe weather is coming at once today. It'll be almost a distant memory by tomorrow. But the Met Office has amber warnings out because we are particularly worried about that freezing rain, the instant ice, ice rink effect. But also we have that warning out, an amber warning for snow as well and blizzards because of storm Deirdre. And what's happening is because it's been so cold this week and we've got that cold air embedded with us, we've got the transition going on today, which is when the mild Atlantic air is trying to come in on top of that cold air. And so we get that wintry mix. But it does look absolutely horrendous for some of us today to say the least so freezing rain what is it we get snow in the upper atmosphere when you've got cold air as we have now but sometimes it can fall into some slightly milder air and what happens is it becomes rain it's not above freezing though the temperatures are still mostly below freezing and then when it hits the cold air that we have on the ground that Naga was talking about really cold yesterday my car thermometer was barely above freezing it ha acts like an ice skating rink it just freezes and it becomes treacherous that black ice so the warnings, these are the areas in force at the moment from the Met Office, expected mid-morning onwards, the North Midlands actually, into northern England, southern Scotland, central lowlands, snow as well further north. Now there could well be snow initially anyway as this weather system comes in. So you've got that cold air with us, you've got this massive area of low pressure with two of them joining together, coming in on top of what has been a really cold week. We're starting with a widespread frost this morning. So as that creeps into that cold air, we are seeing some snow already across the Lake District, for example, and that process will continue across Scotland. It's initially quite patchy and it's heavy rain further west. And there are warnings out for that in Northern Ireland, Wales and the southwest, as well as the severe gales on Storm Deirdre. But look at this. We get that snow coming in and then it gets heavier as we go into the afternoon as well. And that's when the real concerns arise, really, late morning into the afternoon and evening. In the south, there might be a little bit of temporary snow, but it does look as if it'll be mostly rain. But that amount of rain, 30 to 50 millimetres rain, could cause some flooding. Significant snow over the Pennines. But as I say, there's that potential for widespread black ice. If you're travelling today, please stay in tune. It's going to be very difficult to get the detail right with this one and it is best to keep tuned to the forecasts and to your local radio for the travel. Now you can see that across Scotland. We've got those severe gales blowing as well around the coasts in the west and very gusty winds will cause blizzards with that heavy snow. 20, 30 centimetres over the highlands of Scotland. So, as I say, it's all coming at once today, courtesy of Storm Deirdre, with the freezing rain, very unusual, as I say, in this country, and extremely dangerous as well. The power lines may be affected by that icing as well because the wind will blow that uh, super-cooled air onto those lines. Come tomorrow, though, or overnight and tomorrow, it's all blowing away and we're back to rain and showers for the most part. Temperatures up on today at between 7 and 10 degrees Celsius. So quite a contrast, really. But, of course, it is a busy shopping day today. And by the time we get to Monday, we're back into that mild air and we're back into what we call a mobile weather situation with weather system coming in off the Atlantic after weather system. But today, as I say, some really treacherous conditions, potentially. If you're out on the roads, it looks really very nasty indeed. There are uh, numerous warnings out there all on the website but the main amber ones are for the snow across Scotland and the snow and freezing rain for parts of Scotland, Northern England and the North Midlands. Of course we'll have plenty more through the morning. Nagar and John. OK, Helen, thanks very much for taking us through that. And, yes, please do be careful. Please note Helen's warnings. Yeah, especially when so many people out and about this morning yeah, doing Christmas family trips.